Hey there, Twisted Sage here. Good rising. Sun's currently 22 or 20 degrees Pisces in orb of conjunction to Neptune. Big news of the day is uh, last night, Nep or Mercury moved on into Pisces. Joining the party of delusion and confusion. I um, feel like we kind of need this. I'm feeling good about it this morning. <sighs> Let the mental fucking game drop. Though there is much air in the sky still. The moon's 22 degrees of Gemini. Cosmic Lovers, Venus and Mars are traveling together. Mars leading the show three degrees and some change. Aquarius and Mars caboosing behind that with lesser change of three degrees. Um, in interesting notes that jumped out was it with this Aquarian energy of Venus and Mars so I had a lovely Sagittarian probation officer that I hadn't seen or had communication with since November she ended up moving so kind of gave me breathing space of the confinement but out of nowhere's uh, my new probation officer hit me up for one of the, sa uh, the same phone number um, as my prior PO and said hey um, today's monthly check in and I asked her what office and then got a call and I had a dude named Rob and I didn't catch it his message was sent around like 1043 I didn't catch it till 1230 and I'm like oh dude it's gonna take me an hour to get to Heber office from where I'm working so of course you know natural anxieties of great now I got uh, authority pressing on me but Things benevolently turned out. He seemed pretty cool. Just had me write my paper and uh, I was on my way. Also, Moon and Gemini, my son being a super Gemini, he's struggling real bad with the curriculum. Obviously, with all of his Gemini and his 29 degree Mercury in Gemini, um, Naturally, he has trouble keeping focus. Gemini being the, the trickster, though, and the moon backed, backing his love, his heart, and his mind, um, he was able to somehow increase his temperature that the nurse would call me. And so I had to swing and pick him up. But it wasn't he was fine he just large portion bored but also struggles to grasp a outdated learning system that uh, is crumbling I'm going to jump to uh, the America's chart. We have a Chiron in Aries. And so we're experiencing I got to pee. So we're experiencing that return
So Chiron and Aries is, and I think we see this easily, is we're all have a wounded warrior in us. You know, the European way came and wounded the shit out of the native people of America. You know, really broke their spirits. Forced them into Jesus. Trampled their ways. But the warrior in all Americans is a bit wounded. <laughs> Pisces is that forest. Naturally, we're on the precipice of a Cancer Moon. Which is going to bring moisture of Sun, Moon, both in water, with an abundance of other planets in water, to our region. That is the northeastern section of this is kind of middle section middle east Arizona ah so Pisces is 12th house is the sector of, of addiction. Scorpio can be as well, eighth house. Um, again, so Saturn really is the dominant ruler of our physical reality. Neptune being the Nep, uh, Pisces' ruler, though, brings us to spirit and allows us to know that That there's more than this reality. Um, my major thing I want to say is kind of get your maybe get your toxic ways in now with substances. Um, you know, this is the true end of the year, Pisces season. For less confused people, we should adjust our calendars that April Fool's Day should be the start of the year. But that would be brought back two weeks to the we would shift April 1st to basically around the 20th of March to start our new year in Aries. Um, and then that way, each first of the year would basically be where the sun transfers over into the new sign. So May 1st would become Taurus season. Uh, June 1st would become Gemini season, so on and so forth. Would give a more accurateness to our calendar because the seasons are very about 
living the rhythm of life. All right, getting long. See you soon. Star Daddy O out. Flow with the oceans of Pisces. Let go of the compass for now. <laughs>